Hi everyone, welcome. This is Teresa Goodridge's new Christmas book, Out Home for the Holidays, and I'm going to start the next color along out of it. So I chose this page. I love beaches and I love doing it in the Christmas theme, so I thought this would be fun to do. Um, I did start the sun because I recorded once already and then my kitten flew across the desk and bumped the camera and flung pencils everywhere. So quickly, um, I used orange, Spanish orange, um, yellowed orange for the sun and then cream in a, the center here and I left a little bit of white in the center for a bright spot and I went over this dark where they added the lines in Spanish orange as well. I'm just going to finish blending the orange in which is what I was working on when I was so rudely interrupted. You can see I went out of the lines and everything. I was totally not expecting it. So I'm also going to clean up that little mishap there. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is right next to the sun, I'm going to, I'm going to keep it looking bright. So I'm going to white out that black line at the end, but I don't want to do it now or I'll have all the gel pen wiped off and it'll be scratchy looking. Okay, I forgot not to touch the black lines on these books because they smear. So keeping an even circle all the way around of cream. Okay. I'm going to follow the same pattern I did inside the sun, but I'm going to bring it outwards now. I'm going to fix that little line right there that's driving me crazy. Okay, so now we are going canary. I apologize for all the short pencils. I am not going to color the pine trees because I am going to color those green. Okay, so just kind of making sure that circle is a little even all the way around here. Doesn't have to be perfect, but. Okay, I like that. So then our next will be the yellowed orange, her orange yellow. So just pulling that out a little further. Um, you can make this morning or night. You can go purples if you want a night scene or some reds. I just thought this yellow would be pretty with the Christmas colors. Um, take into consideration your water here when you do your colors. Okay, and then that Spanish orange, and I did have to pull a new one, so this one is a large pencil. Okay, working all the way over to the edge around these trees. Um, these sun lines you can do in a uh, yellow and orange gel pen or you can use a white gel pen to kind of make them stand out. You can leave them black if you want. Just some ideas, things I like to do. Okay, so again, just kind of pulling that out in a little. It's going to look larger this way because it's chopped off on this side, but I still kind of want to keep. Okay, we're going to pull our dark orange. We're going to add a tiny dot right along the edge there, and I will blend that out. Um, and you will, you will see where the sky peeks over, so it's kind of going to depend on what colors you're going to want. If you're going to fade to blue or if you're going to keep your sun colors. I'm going to turn this a little for a second and I'm going to sharpen with my T-Gall sharpener because this one is just about too small for the pencil sharpener. Um, for those of you interested, I put mine on like two, three to sharpen. Okay, and I'm just kind of mapping out around my tree here. Now again, you could go to the um, fade to blue if you want. But I did that on the last page, so I thought I would change it up a little bit. 
and show you something else. I think this will still be pretty. Okay. Um, so I need to get under here. And some of this I might miss and have to come back. I seem to do that a lot. But we will try to get it all here, get around this present. I think that's all sky. Okay, and then I'm gonna get this corner tip around this one. Right here is sky. I think. Yeah, I think that's going that way. Confused me for a second. All right. And then I'm going to go back to my Spanish orange. And if this is wrong, I'll switch it when I color it, but I'm pretty sure the branch is going that way. Okay, and this is just kind of helping blend this to the other colors a little bit here. Like I said, we're going to blend inwards now. Just mix these two colors here. And in a couple spots, you could come in a little further than others. Trying to keep with the flow of the sky here. All right, just like that. So again, up to you how you want to do yours. I'm going to leave mine like that for now. I think I like it. Come in, fix some of my white here. So now I'm starting with my colors and blending inward. Even going to add a little white here. That just reduces the harshness of the blend, gives it that nice bright look around it. Okay, and then that will be the part where I will, if I got everything how I like it, cover it with the white gel pen. Trying to keep it smooth here. Easier said than done. Okay, sorry about that. It was easier to do it that way. Okay, so there's what mine looks like. If you like the light around it, you can go ahead and do yours. I will do the lines as well, but not on camera because that will take me forever. But the next time you come back, you will see that part done. All right, so there is our sky already. I am going to go ahead and tackle the water next. So I pulled, get my swatch sheet out here. This is denim blue, so this will be my darkest permanent blue. 
Now these two I might not use both, but I pulled them both because um, I'm undecided. But this is aquamarine. This is parrot green. And then this is, I believe, spring green. And I know that green looks weird, um, but I don't want to do a yellow highlight for my sun. So I'm going to do this part a little more bright green, blue and yellow makes green. That's what my mind is saying anyway. All right. So with my dark blue. And I'm actually going to take a piece of washi real quick, like, because I found out if I do this, it works way better. Okay. Then I don't keep losing it. And I'm going to pick my dark spots. So I know over here is going to be dark against these cliffs. I know right here is going to be dark with the boat. I'm not sure, but I'm going to put a little dark in here. And I'm going to follow this up. Notice I am not pressing hard, not blending, not getting rid of the white. This is my planning phase. So I'm going to do under the tree. Just looking to see if the water is peeking through anywhere else here. And then we'll do up here, dark. Now this is not my final. I may come back and change my mind. But I know I want this part dark because I want to hide this black line. I don't want it to look like she drew any guidelines in to help me out, even though she did. This part is going to get a little lighter because we're getting up on shore. So I might do this little section darker, but I'm going to blend that out. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that. If I need some more dark spots, I will add them in as I go. So then I'm going to do permanent blue. So again, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to turn this a little. I am a lefty. So I'm going to go light on both sides of this here. Most of the shore. I'm going to bring this dark out just a little further to hide that black line she has there. And it looks like the black line for the sky in this water is not put in right there, so I will fix that. But I'm working around my tree. Oh, and I can't forget my boat. Anywhere I have the dark, I want to use this permanent blue because it's kind of my transition color. Okay. Now I'm going to do the parrot green first, because I'm pretty sure this is the nice, as I color my boat, beachy color I want. I want a tropical feel, a nice tropical beachy feel. I'm not going to do a whole lot of this color, and I will cover it with more blues as well, but this is a nice little planning phase here. I'm going to quickly going to darken right here and I'm going to make a little mark there that's my guideline okay just slowly blending and bringing out a little so I can find where I want my Highlights in my water. I'm going to do this section too. And this is going to look really dark and bright, but I will show you vibrant, I should say. But uh, there's a there's a trick. We'll tone it down a little. So just getting it in 
Okay, now I'm going to bring in a little of the aquamarine. And this just helps bring down the highlight a little. Now, if you want a perfect highlight with your sun, you can do that with your lightest color. I'm doing this color around these bulbs on purpose or whatever you want. I think I want to do mine as Christmas bulbs, but um, I'm going to do them red, green, yellow, blue. So I want to make sure I have this color around them so the blue does not get mixed in with the water when I do those. Same with this over here. It's just my plan when I'm thinking out loud here. Okay, we're going to bring in a little spring green. Again, this is just for my sunspot, so I'm not going to do it all over. And it will blend better in a moment. Okay, so I'm going to turn it right and I'm going to make sure that this is lined up how I want it, which I think it is. And then we will work off of that. So I'm going to come back in with my parrot green. I'm going to turn this again a little. just wanted you to be able to see the highlight I made straight up and down. So this color blends with the blue and the green, which is nice. We are going to add a little of this over here so that it's not like just an odd random color in the water. Okay, we're going to add a little more of this in if we need it. Just kind of layering things here. I want to have a fair amount of pencil down for the next step. Again, I'm going to darken my blue okay so that is what I have um, this blue line I will probably add some white to as well as this and it will help make it look less standout-ish. But I'm going to take a white pencil next and I'm going to work in circular motions. So I am going to do these tiny little sections and you won't be able to see a whole lot of the effect right here. But I'm going to blend, I forgot this little section right here coming up to shore. Okay, and then up here, I'm going to do the same thing. Circular motions. Okay, work my way this way. Notice I'm not touching that highlight. My birds, I'm going to do in black pens. I'm just going over for now. I'm not touching up here on shore yet. Making sure there's no lines. So I have all the white out. And then I am going to tone down this bright green just a little. Because it feels pretty bright. 
Me and this sail are fighting. Okay, so I'm just darkening that bright green. It was a little brighter than I wanted. I still get the reflection feel, but not as bright. Adding this green a little bit of everywhere. Okay, so that's going to be my water. I'm going to leave this part alone for now. And like I said, I'm going to come back in. And I'm just going to leave a nice white line. If it cuts out, it actually looks better. So, you know, more natural. Just adding in some lines. You don't have to follow them exactly. Um, like these ones, I'm just gonna scribble in. I'm gonna add some random ones here. Like I said, my sun will come down as well. But, um, I want to make sure I add a couple over here so that it doesn't look like it just stops because there's a tree there. And I'm going to call that good for my water. I'm going to quickly take a Precise V10 by Pilot. These babies will color over any amount of wax or paint. I'm just going to quickly put my birdies back in, because if I don't, I will forget them. Okay, I think, oh, I forgot two up here. All right. So quickly, I am going to color this section up here green. I'm going to assume it's green. I don't really know. I want the spring green. And then this is grass green. Okay, and then a tiny dot of yellow that you won't really be able to see, but it's there as the sun is shining off it. I'm also going to do these ones over here, grass green. Staying in the lines as much as possible. And then I will do this little section brown. So I am going to call that part one. Um, when we come back, I will tackle the tree. And I am I am going to do these Christmas bulbs. I don't know if that's what they're supposed to be, but it's Christmas and I like bulbs. And I think they'd be fun to do. So yes, questions, comments, anything like that, leave them below. And I hope to see you for part two. Thanks for watching.